Here's a short uh, trading strategy or setup video and what we're looking at here is a foreign exchange pair, it's a Euro Yen and the chart is an hourly chart. Notice there's also a couple of moving averages uh, on this chart. Actually this um, is of some interest to me because uh, when I watched this unfold, it was actually a Friday night and I was with a group of traders and we were uh, watching this setup unfold and I know a couple of people in the group who actually traded this. Um, so I just thought I'd uh, demonstrate this just as a basic little setup uh, showing you a couple of patterns which you are probably uh, quite familiar with. You'll notice uh, during this period that we've got a couple of key levels that have established um, at the 130 and the 131.5 level. Um, at this point here, we're probably not aware of the significance of this level. Um, it uh, moves back down and uh, bounces off the 130. When it returns to the 131.5 and, and, and is rejected, and you can see the long uh, upper wicks there or upper shadows on the bars of the candlesticks, and then again that indecision, and then the strong move away, we're starting to see the significance of this 131.5 level. Then it comes back to this 130 level and again, um, reinforcing the support level, comes back up to and hits right on the 131.5 again, again reinforcing the significance of this level. And so this is really trying to show us, well this is really something that we would monitor now and look, because we really want to see a break one way or the other. And as I flick forward here, You'll notice how on several occasions, and again it's just done it there, how the 131.5 level is tested and is really showing um, a lot of resistance there. We can see how many times the price has uh, um, hit that level and uh, bounced off. And again a few long uh, shadows here reinforcing how the price has been rejected at level. We move on, a lot of indecision there, another doji, another uh, doji-like uh, candle there. So a lot of indecision. Um, but again this reinforcing of the key level at 131.5 but the other thing that was probably of note to us that when we were watching this unfold was of course um, really the pattern that we're seeing here unfold is that of an ascending triangle. Notice how the uh, the top there of course of the triangle is at right on 131.5 we know the significance of that level having seen uh, it occur a couple of times previously but at the same time there's clearly um, a lot of growing uh, demand, a lot of bulls out there for the Euro Yen uh, this particular case to go along the Euro and uh, we see this classic ascending triangle pattern form um, next bar it did actually break through that level and for those who weren't on at the end of this particular hour's trading we're certainly on uh, the next hour and we can see just a very clear, very simple break from that key level um, certainly would have been in on the on the second last or this current bar now and we can see that this you know again once we broke from this pattern the uh, euro certainly uh, took off and uh, and moved quite quickly for us and uh, we can see you know, a couple of hours just hanging around there and then took off even further so in a, just a space of say six hours or so we've uh, we've moved a, a fair distance um, as I said, I, I was actually in a group of traders watching this as this unfolded and uh, I know a few people actually did go long the euro and traded this. Um, question of course and something we may discuss in module 2 when we talk specifically about exits is when may have we exited and actually uh, sold out of the euro in this particular trade. Um, certainly around this time now we're certainly starting to have thought about um, getting out and uh, and there is a couple of ways that we can, which we can do that and there were a couple of ways we discussed uh, at the time but um, certainly we'll discuss that uh, more specifically um, and as you can see as it unfolded it did uh, retrace a little bit and um, anyway but uh, just again just showing you just a very simple uh, setup with, a, with an FX pair um, classic uh, pattern ascending triangle one of my favourite patterns classic there and, and then just a classic break higher um, we're in a position where we perhaps um, you know, have a platform where we can place an on-stop order just above that level uh, or we can manage it at the time um, and then we would have actually really enjoyed just a, a nice little move over a few hours there. So that's just a very simple uh, setup for you, something you may be able to use and something we'll certainly uh, talk more about.